Hey guys, Tilly here with Stylanded. I don't know about you, but I feel that the best toys are tech toys. And we're not just talking about kids here, but we probably should focus on the kids since the newest and best toys this Christmas are high tech. Sorry, Grandma, Mr. Potato Head fell out of fashion about 50 years ago. Unfortunately, just recently, security researchers tested smart toys from several top brands, including Mattel and Spin Master, and discovered that many, if not most of these high-tech toys that use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi have major security vulnerabilities. Now here's my takeaway. Here's what you should look out for when shopping or before you open that battery powered who knows what your son, daughter, niece, or nephew has been begging you for. Number one, some Bluetooth toys allow you to connect to them without a password. Well, think about it. If you can connect without a password, so can anyone else. From there, who knows what they can do with that toy. They could use the toy to control it or spy on you or your kids. That's not good. For example, security researchers found that walkie-talkie devices of the same brand as that of the toy could be pretty easily paired and used to communicate with someone else using it, say a child, from a distance of about 450 feet away. Kind of creepy, right? Here's number two. Another flaw that was found was that some toys required logging in to certain websites for updates or downloading certain features. But these websites were missing encryption. That's that little lock at the top of your browser window. And of course, these sites exposed account and session data that could be intercepted by almost anyone. Furthermore, these websites often indicated whether a username or email address was already registered. Now, while this sounds pretty harmless, this could allow hackers to launch brute force attacks to obtain registered usernames and email addresses, which could then be used for spam, phishing, malware, not good stuff, right? So what can you do about it? Let's be real here. The responsibility of keeping their product safe to use may lie with the manufacturer, but we as parents should check to make sure that the item we are purchasing is actually cyber safe. So a good place to start is to check the manual. Does it have uh, sufficient language indicating the product's security and privacy? If not, that's a big red flag. Even so, if you have already made your purchase and if you're worried about security, try being old fashioned and use, I don't know, this thing called supervision while your kids are playing with the toy. Yes, I have kids, so I can say that. <laughs> now, when they're done with, uh, when your kids are done playing with the toy, turn it off. In fact, if you're still nervous about it, go ahead, <clears throat> you know, take out the batteries. Sometimes it's just not worth the risk. I'm Attila Sylanda. You stay safe out there. Aloha.